Hello and welcome to the Forum podcast, episode <laughs> just, nine. Just the Forum will do. And we're done. Good. Finish. Yeah. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a pleasure. Number nine. That's right. I'm the host, Serum Lake, and today I'm joined by the fabulous Bear Scoff. Hello. And the sinister Lord Ross. Hello. So, guys, let's get things started by talking about what we've been up to recently. Lord Ross, you haven't been on for a while, so can you fill us in? I'm trying to remember what I've said and what I haven't said now. I've uh, been focusing on the home board recently. Uh, I've got this new Where's Wassy event. Yeah. Basically, yeah, I go is. missing in home, and I try and ask from your home community where I am. So you take a picture and you get them to identify where you are. Yeah, it's not as simple as it sounds. I black it out, and I show a little tiny little portion of the picture. Yeah. And they basically have to guess where that is. Uh, I try and make it more difficult each time, but they keep surprising me how intelligent. They are by how you know how they can easily identify a space. So other small little things, I get smaller and smaller and smaller, and yeah, too so, good. Too I know good. one of them. You obscured everything out, but a view out of a window, didn't you? Was that was that correct? Oh yes, yeah, so it was a it was a Sully's pub, yeah, from Uncharted. So it's oh, a bar. That one. Apart from rather than take a picture in the bar, I took a picture from looking out the window at a jet ski in a lake. Yeah. So only all you can see is a jet ski in water. Yeah. Did it get it straight away? It didn't get it straight away, but it did. It did eventually get it. You should make it really hard. I tried to even, make it hard. Not even set it, it in yeah. home one week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess what this is. It's like vib ribbon. Yeah. Yeah. Should take a picture outside the offices. Go. Where is he? <laughs> but of course, now we've got the Z or XI. Z. Yes. So Z. Uh, that is coming into. Well, it is now coming to the UK home board by Storm and we've now got a new board specifically just for that and for all the fans to discuss all the spoilers with spoiler tags make sure you get it out and, and anything they find information and hints and tips that's good so if people are interested in Z you've picked their interest just by mentioning it what is Z? it's a uh, an interactive sort of home event using real life elements and virtual reality mm-hmm. I'm, I'm not quite explaining myself that great, to be honest. Yeah, yeah but that's fine. Do there's you know a what? lot of fans who are absolutely adore You're it. lucky then, because I've got a guest lined up for next week who's going to come on and tell us all about it. <laughs> Mysterious <laughs> plug. That was an actual veil as well. Yeah. We didn't even make that sound effect after this. <laughs> He's actually cloaked up. It's just a cloak. He's wearing nothing else. Again. Every week. Every time. It makes this podcast really difficult. <laughs> Seriously, right. Setting these kind of trends in the office. So I completely hijacked the topic there. <laughs> That's fine. It's actually it's made a good little segue. Uh, so Bear, what have you been up to? Uh, bar admiring your veil. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm in the process of downloading Virtue's Last Reward. I think it's okay, called. Yeah. Um, never really heard of it before. I saw I think it was IGN's review, and it was like, "This is amazing." So I was like, "I better check it out then." It's like um, an interactive storybook, isn't it? I believe so. It's, it's well, I've got. I just. It, well, it should, should have finished downloading by the time I get home. So uh, I'll hopefully have a blast with it this evening whilst I'm recovering from a terrible, terrible headache. Because that's what helps. Games, more games. Yeah, obviously. But I've still not touched Persona. Oh. oh. Barely touched Lego Lord of the Rings. Oh. My copy of Far Cry turns up tomorrow. Oh. Uh, a doll. <laughs> <laughs> Stress. <laughs> it's uh, yeah. Um, well, so I still haven't played Dishonored. That's still in its cellophane wrapping. I'll tell you what I have been doing actually. Uh, it's, it's it's really. You could almost say it's exactly the same as last week. Yeah. Netflix. Yeah. I more fin- Netflix. Finished, you like your Netflix, don't you? Finished season six of The Office, which was good. Picked up on most like the little things that people were going on about a few years ago, so I'm getting a little bit more current and modern <laughs> <laughs> than I was a few months back. I know what do means because I played. Um, I did play something. It wasn't a video game. It was a board game. Um, 
the office monopoly and the, all the cards were named after different things that I have no idea about. But now I do know what they're about. But I'm not so you can laugh about it now. I, but I, I look back, I chuckle heartily. <laughs> but it's at a, the time, you're kind of sitting there going, yeah. <laughs> I get this joke now. I'll, I I'll just carry on eating pizza and keep myself to myself. That's fine, I don't cool. understand what's going on. But um, yeah, that's, that's, that's mainly it. Um, just looking forward to a few days off to actually catch up on my gaming, to be honest. Um, but that won't be until... Ever. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I know the feeling. Yeah, yeah, good times. But uh, what have you been playing? That's the big question. What have I been playing? Not a great deal, to be honest. Been running around trying to sort out lovely community events. I oh, know that. Thing. Which, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> which the, the plans are coming together nicely. We're almost at the finish line. They really are, and we still got to muck around with that pun that we did in episode five or six, was it, with Neil? Oh yes. I can't. Was it? I think it was Neil. Wasn't it? I believe so. Yeah. yeah. If, we're, if we're talking about the same thing. The what? The pun? Mm. As yeah, it was a ma- Mass Effect thing. Uh, mm. Yes. Yeah. I think that was with Neil. Anyway, what have I played? I've been playing on the Vita quite a lot because I, I spend too long travelling into work on a train every day. Uh, I can't think what I played. Street Fighter Cross Tekken. Okay. I've been playing that a fair bit. It's literally exactly the same as the console version, except it's in the palm of your hand. In the palm. <laughs> so I've been enjoying that. It's. Uh, a, a lot of like the hardcore fighting game community don't seem to like Street Fighter Cross Tekken very much. Really? Because it has a gem system where you can like equip these uh, special buffs to increase abilities or uh, negate other people's abilities. Oh, okay, okay. By performing set criteria. So, for instance, hitting with like five hard punches in a row, suddenly you've got super armor and you can't be hurt as much. So it makes it much more challenging to play competitively. Yeah, that sounds incredibly dynamic. It like is. constantly dynamic. It is. I, I, to be honest, I don't mess around with the uh, the gems too much. I just use the default ones for most teams. Well, see, I get baffled by PlayStation All Stars Battle Royale, and that's probably one of the you know the, the, a nice introduction into fighting games. Yeah, yeah. But um, yeah, it's. Uh, I do need to get back into fighting. I used to play them a lot as a kid. So uh, I'm gonna have to follow in your footsteps. I think in Blast and Street Fighter X Tekken. I mean, I've, I've always liked Tekken. I've always enjoyed Tekken, but I mean, Street Fighter. It's mainly right at the beginning of you know my fighting game. You know when I back in uh, I forgot what console it was now. Back on the SNES and the Mega Drive. Yeah, it was quite like, a decade back or so at least, and longer than that. <laughs> uh, you know, I, now apart apart from Street Fighter, Mortal Kombat, I sort of just stopped fighting games altogether, mm. and I only really played Tekken Tag. And that was the last time I played a fighting game, yeah. apart from All Stars, of course. Oh yes, of course, yes. But I'm not really a fighting person. I'm a lover. <laughs> oh, you beat me to that, Joe. <laughs> except for when you're drinking coffee, Ross. <laughs> You've right. heard fables. It makes my heart pump. So. <laughs> <laughs> we lost three moderators the other day. It was a, it was a shame. Yeah, Yasta's still at home recovering. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even know the burn hammer was a physical item. Ross <laughs> just whipped it out. Which <laughs> Yeah, apart from that, the only other game I've been playing is one of the latest additions to PlayStation Plus. Oh, is it Arkham City, perchance? Yes, it is. As if I needed an excuse to play more Arkham City. <laughs> what a game. Yes. I've been going back and uh, trying to platinum it now. It's quite challenging because... You know, it's I haven't easy. played it at all. <laughs> oh, can, now, can, I like, can we I like... edit that out? <laughs> <laughs> That's the second one, isn't it? Yes, yeah. it is. Yeah. I mean, I played the first one. Absolutely loved it. Really enjoyed it. Apart from, I mean, I used a gargoyle was quite a lot. Yep. And so you didn't like it when they put the bombs on the Then gargoyles. they put the bombs on it and then it completely destroyed my game plan. Yep. And then I'm very fickle when it comes to games. You screw me up, I screw you up and I turn it <laughs> off, you know. So. Well, what you'll like about Arkham City then is because it's not in a confined environment for the most part, you've literally got a, a big section of the city to run around and do what you want. You can literally hide on rooftops at any point and nobody puts bombs. <laughs> you, you know, you might have like a patrolling squad of guys with guns up there, but you're you've got much better gadgets this time around. So you're much more capable of defending yourself against people with guns. Like you can chuck a smoke bomb down, and then when they can't see you, you can like stealthily take them out one by one. Or towards the end of the game, you get a freeze bomb. 
because you can chuck at people and freeze them in place. <laughs> so I don't remember that. There's so much tactical gameplay in it. I absolutely love it, and it makes you feel like Batman. You know what it I really always does. hoped with uh, the Batman games as well that they go back to the old uh, Adam West <laughs> kind of thing. You know, the pow, the very bang. Side. Yeah, I thought you know that, that would have been really cool. Mm. But, uh, it doesn't really fit in with the dark and gritty Arkham City tone. That's cooler. I still think yeah. it would be cool. I mean, one of the things <laughs> that I like about this one is that they've got a heap of extra costumes you can download, including uh, my favourite Batman the Animated Series outfit. So you look like the cartoon character <laughs> running around in gritty Arkham City, just punching people and chucking batarangs. And obviously it's got the same voice actor from the cartoon, Kevin yeah. Conroy, so it's, it's just like playing an episode of the cartoon. So I'm I need to watch it. the cartoons again, man. That's been a long time. They were good cartoons as well. I've got the box sets. Yes. Now, why am I biting my fist as if I'm yeah. embarrassed by that? I'm not embarrassed by it. I watch it all the time. It's all right. Well, you know, let's go back to Netflix here because that's, that's yeah. the salient point, isn't it, in a gaming podcast. Um, <laughs> you know, you've got Netflix. Yeah. Get rid of that and just stick with Netflix for kids because yeah. it's awesome. It's got all of the Spider-Man and X-Men cartoons, but it doesn't yeah. have any Batman ones, which... Well, I had... Um, Talking of X-Men, I had the theme tune stuck in my head the other day, you know, like... Yeah. So I had to watch loads of them just to get it out of the system. And then I, I did my hair like Wolverine for a bit. Yeah, <laughs> just, <laughs> have you seen my hair recently? It doesn't take much effort. And then I glued, <laughs> you know, butter knives to my, my knuckles. Walked around the London, got arrested. Uh, I'm calling people bub. <laughs> Sorry, bub. You've been saying to look like different people recently, haven't you? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's really weird, because, I mean... I. Solid, anything, sn- solid Snake the other day. Oh, that made me weep. <laughs> With, with joy I was so happy and Nathan Drake was it yeah it's been yeah so far I've been compared to yeah Nathan Drake and Solid Snake and someone else I can't remember what the other one was no it's gone I can't remember no. but I was pretty I was chuffed with Solid Snake very chuffed <laughs> uh, well you, you heard me in the office yeah you are eyeing yourself up in the mirror uh, tried on that <laughs> bandana the one yeah. made out of like some eye of judgement <laughs> material I look like an atatool <laughs> Yeah, it's got me in the mood. I think I'm going to have to um, do some cosplay. Well, no, my kind of talents and regards to clothing will be like, uh, crap play. Like, can I get away with saying just that? Get, just get a wetsuit, put that on, and like stick some bits on it. And then you stick go, you look like a snake. Good idea, actually. Or old snake, anyway. Old snake. Yeah, I'm going to do it for the next kind of expo thing, I reckon. Because I wanted to do it this year, but, um, you know. Yeah. It's been a busy year. <laughs> Make a busy year. Yes, so now's the time to talk about our Christmas events that are coming up. So let's start with Bear because you have been coordinating the community advent calendar, haven't you? I have been. So let's, tell us a little bit about it. The community advent calendar is awesome, <laughs> in a word. Basically, Lovely. every day a panel opens, you all have to guess what the image is behind it. It's always a character from like PlayStation Heritage or History wearing a, uh, a really cool beard and hat. And they have to, you know, you guys have to guess what it is. But on top of that, I'll make a little announcement post in the thread saying, bah, bah, panel X is open. On top of that, this is what we've got lined up. So like, we'll have competitions going up, activities mm. on the forum and just general events. I mean, we're, we're trying to get um, gaming events every evening, you know, every weekday evening yes. from between eight and nine, because you know, we all like to play games and, you know, we've got a few uh, moderator versus uh, community events coming up, uh, I believe, in a few weeks right. or even next week. I've got to check. Uh, yeah. I, want, I really want to call it something funky, though. I was thinking maybe uh, mods versus punks, but I don't want you guys out there thinking I think you're punks. So maybe, what was it? Mods versus rockers? Yes, yeah, so, yeah, mods versus yeah. rockers are you know, traditional. Yeah, and we are that. based just off Carnaby Street, which is where the mods come from. <laughs> <laughs> Rocking, seriously, we're, we're going to have to push that. But yeah, we uh, we've got well, we've got the Derek the Death Thing competition out already, and which is ending on the 9th of December. Yes, which will be tomorrow, uh, I think. Yes. I'm losing track of days. Yes. But um, uh, what else? Oh, we've got a Resident Evil one. The Resident Evil one is awesome. Yes. It's so easy to enter. The prize is awesome. You get uh, the tin edition game. Um, a big hardback book and the uh, degeneration is it called? Yeah, the degeneration. Uh, film. So that's uh, that's me- that's mega cool. Um, and all you have to do is come up with a three-course meal for Zombie Santa. Mm-hmm. And obviously, Zombie Santa is 
normal Santa who's been infected with some kind of T virus yes. and he's coming for you. You've got to leave out instead of mince pies, a limb or a relative that you don't really like or your boss <laughs> or something, you know. And yeah, discourage him from eating you. So yeah, check that out. It's over in the action adventure board, but um, if you're on the advent calendar thread, it'll, there'll be links in there as well. So. And we've basically, we've basically got a competition for every weekend, pretty much, haven't we? Yeah, there's at least two competitions a week going on through December, and that's at least. There, there'll be some more on top as well. And yeah. I'm trying to sort something out for Christmas Day, because, you know, the first thing you want on Christmas Day is more presents. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. yeah. And that is... Um, so most of the winners will be announced on Christmas Day? Uh, yeah, I uh, figured um, because I'm working Christmas Day, I want people to come and say hello to me. <laughs> so I'm withholding all the winners' names until Christmas Day, and I will post them live then. And if you don't come and ho- come over to my thread and say at least hello, I'm keeping it for myself. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think the terms and conditions will cover me for that, but uh, yeah, I think legal will tell me off. There might be a loophole somewhere, isn't there? I'm yeah. sure I can find something. <laughs> We've got some good gifts, seriously, there's some cracking stuff. Yes, and it's not just games we're giving away. Either. No, it's, it's really no. cool merchandise and yeah, yeah memorabilia, signed stuff. Yeah, I, I just want to tell them what all of the prizes are because uh, they're all so amazing, but we check, can't. Got to check the calendar, folks. Yeah, <laughs> it's where it's happening. spoil it, but it's burning me up inside knowing all of this wonderful knowledge. It is, there's you a lot as well. <laughs> <laughs> I have the power! <laughs> But yeah, the advent calendar, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's super festive and full of fun, even though it sounds sound like it's festival. <laughs> ho, 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 it's really fun. Um, but yeah, check it, yo. So Ross, what's going on with you guys for Christmas? Uh, well, I've launched this thing, uh, I guess launched it yesterday, it was in the, in the home board. It's called 12 Days of PlayStation Home Christmas. Okay. And um, basically, it's a community collaboration project, and I want the community to get imaginative and creative, and go out there and take a screenshot within home of uh, each day would be a different challenge. So of course, yes, yesterday it was partridge in a pear tree. So they do their own version of partridge in a pear tree, and they post all their screenshots in in the thread. Kudos themselves, you know, kudos which pitch they like best. And the community voted for Adam Partridge in a robot tree. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. Good. So that was a nice little start. And uh, so today's challenge was two turtles, isn't it? No, two turtles. Two turtles. <laughs> <laughs> They'll have a shell of a time with that. Two turtle doves. That's the one. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> so they have to find, you know, two turtle doves in home. They can do it however they like, present it however they like, and they just post it in the thread. And of course, later on, when it gets to like 12 drummers drumming, they're going to need more people to help them out. So it gives them an, it gives them an excuse to help one another. So that would be quite a little fun thing to do for Christmas. It, it's not prize-based, but in dreams might have something special lined up for that. No prizes, but you know there might be something in it. That's what I'm saying. It might be a little special gift. Home itself is a gift, surely. But of course, we've got we've got a load of events lined up, which will be interlinked with the Advent Calendar. So you can, it'll, in the, if you go to Advent Calendar PS3 section, you'll see what's happening. So, like, what have we got? We got uh, the Secret Santa Gran Turismo, which is pretty much oh, yeah, like Maximo's uh, Shuffle Carnage event, apart from it's. Christmassy, so it'll be snowy, and you, you run over Santa. I'm sure we can get that in. <laughs> oh, yeah, well, we'll decide who's going to be naughty or nice, that sort of thing, you know. Nice. And we've got some uh, special other like football-related events. More will be coming if you keep checking on the advent calendar. I'm not going to give you too much information now. Just keep checking back on the advent calendar, yeah. and you'll find out as often as you like. And don't, just yeah, don't be shy either. Yeah, about like you, Sam. Most of my stuff is tied in with the advent calendar, actually. Go team! Uh, there's one I, oh, I really want to talk about. It's Mass Effect 3 related, but we can't yet because it's going to be announced on the advent calendar. So keep an eye out, Mass Effect 3 players. It is coming. It is coming, yeah. There's, there's something announced every day. We have to stress that every day. So keep coming, keep checking. And um, you'll have barrels of fun. Easy. Well, yeah, the Mass Effect thing is just, it's just especially cool. And again, it's, you know, 
it's not even like a back breaking thing it's, it's just yeah really enjoyable Regular listeners will be aware that last week, Mr. Bearscoff hummed a little tune from a classic video game and asked the community to identify it. It took a little while. It, it took nearly a week. It did take nearly <laughs> a week, but they did eventually identify it. Yeah, the amount of times I had to say, there's no way, man, that they're going <laughs> to figure this out. No one, no one clicked, no one got it. And I said that so many times. But uh, yeah, uh, the bum ba dum bum 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 was... Rayman on PS1. Mm. Well, a bit of a nasty one to Yeah, try I, 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 I do kind of regret making it so difficult, so I figured this week I'll, I'll make it super easy. Yep. So here we go. We're <coughs> ready for the second identify the, the little jingle. <laughs> identify the little jingle, I like this. <laughs> yeah. We'll make a tag for that. <laughs> um, yeah, okay. <clears throat> Oh, I'm running out of air. How do those professional musicians do it? I honestly have no idea. Oh, I felt like a composer. I'm really lightheaded from that. I know, I should have breathed in. I look especially festive now, though. So yeah, if you have any idea what that is, then please leave a comment on this post and share your guesses. Definitely. Are we going to send something to the people to get it right? Uh, I might... Uh, I don't know. Might be able to sort something out. Uh, yeah, no promises again, but we'll see what we can find. <laughs> it's a gift. It's a gift, yeah. <laughs> Festive gift. Uh, but, do you know, if our episodes had names, we should call this one... It's a gift. It's a gift. <laughs> I think we're all quite gifted. <laughs> <laughs> Do you mean that in like a derogatory sense? Not in the slightest. <laughs> well, that's about it for another episode of the Forum Podcast. Uh, tune in next week when we hope to have a special guest although we did hope to have a special guest this week but it all fell apart at the last minute so yeah like a second hand calendar <laughs> I don't know why calendar but yeah I don't it understand works. it works like, I know carry on <laughs> <laughs> all that's left for me to do is say thank you Bearscoff for coming along it's a pleasure squire thank you Lord Ross no worries thank you Serum Lake thank, thank you. you thank you for not losing your mind once again Goodbye, everybody. He's lost his mind. So on that note, let's move on and talk about... Sex, baby. (laughs) (laughs) You've just completely thrown me. (laughs) I don't know what to talk about now. That's it, the end of the podcast. (laughs) This is totally going on the end. (laughs) Giggity.